Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. This is a video about translating expressions. So for the first two pages, you're going to take notes with me, and then you have a chance to pause the video and try some problems on your own, and then at the end you can see how you did. Alright, so what does it exactly mean to translate an expression? Well, maybe you've heard the term translator before for a language. So the word translate means to put into words, okay? So we're going to take an expression and try to write it with words. So here's some examples. Um, say if we have uh, the expression x plus 5, right? Well, this could be written as a number increased by 5. Say if we have x minus 7. Well, this could be written as 7 less than a number, and so on. So if, if you look up here, basically there's a table that for every operation, there are words associated with that operation. So for example, with plus, let's put a plus sign here, okay? You might see it associated with the word plus, or the sum of, increased by, total, more than or added to, all right? For the operation of subtraction, you might see words like minus, the difference of, decreased by, fewer than, less than, or subtracted from. For the operation of multiplication, you might see the, the terms uh, times or the product of, multiplied by or of. And then finally for division, not quite as many, but you might see divided by or the quotient of, all right? So, and then sometimes these are added, are blended together. So for example, this one here for letter C, it says three more than twice a number. So notice twice a number um, means two times a number, right? And then three more means added to. And then this one here, we have four decreased by the quotient of a number in seven. So if you turn the page, let's do a few of these together here. So what we're going to do is they gave us the verbal phrase and we're going to write the expression. So the first one says the sum of a number um, and seven, right? So sum is associated with the, the uh, operation addition, okay? So this one is this going to be n plus seven. Now we can use any variable you want, but for these I'm going to use uh, the, the letter n. All right, the next one, product, okay? Product is associated with multiplication. And again, if you need to, we can go back to the first page and look up where that word is. So product is, let's see, right here. All right, so the product of a number in 10, okay, that'd be written as, I'm oh, sorry, excuse me, the product of a number in nine, that would just be nine n. All right, the next one, the quotient of a number in 10. Well, quotient is associated with division. Okay, so this is going to be n divided by 10, okay? Or we could write it as a fraction, n divided by 10. And then finally, it says three times the number increased by nine, okay? So this is going to involve two different operations. So three times the number, that's going to be 3n. And then that 3n is going to be increased by nine. So it's going to be plus nine. All right. So what I want you to do is I want you to pause the video and try the your turn now problems. And when you're done, hit play. You can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say I do with these problems, okay? So it says translate each verbal phrase into an algebraic expression, okay? So these over here, these are our verbal phrases, okay? And we're gonna write them as an expression. So the first one, five less than a number n, okay? Well, less than, notice it's right here in the subtraction, right? So five less than, so we have n, and it's gonna be five less than that. So there's that one. All right, next one, 22 more than a number k. Okay, well more than, if you notice, it's associated with addition, right? So that's gonna be k plus 22. Next one, the total of a number y and 11. Well, total, again, is associated with addition. So that one's gonna be y plus 11. And then finally, the quotient of a number e and seven. Well, quotient is involved with division. So that's gonna be e divided by seven, all right? So when in doubt, always look back at this table. It tells you what word is associated with, with which operation sign. All right, how'd you do?